Hey, this is the actor's take, and I'm going to be doing the breakdown on Janko on Chain with Leonardo DiCaprio. Let's get to it. And I bashed in your skull with it. You would have the same three dimples in the same place as old Ben. Ah! Woo! Woo! Let's back it up! <laughs> And that was the part that broke his flesh, bruh. Mm -hmm. Now, when I first saw this, immediately I knew, I knew, like, that wasn't supposed to happen. You know, that little pound on the table. That's where, you know what I'm saying? That's where that happened. There was a whole cup kind of just sitting on the table, and he fucking... Smashed that whole goddamn thing on the damn table, bro. And it was like, whoa. Man, was that some mad improv you had to do to take that pain in? Mr. Moby, would you be so kind as to collect the pistol hanging off these boys' hips here? You see the bud? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, now he's like, oh, shit. I'm, you know. Now, I'm just curious how. Now, this never really happened to me uh on, on a set before um but there was a time where you know i got hurt before and i just kind of had to like play it off and make it seem like it's part of the show and things like that but it was it was like sprained ankles and things like that i never actually had like blood leaking from my palm i'm just curious as to what initially he was going to do before um now obviously he's in the moment so you know anything goes at this point um especially when you're doing a rage scene like this um but I think with his hand bleeding, it kind of just changed everything. Unless you're okay with just going through with the scene. It's really at his own discretion at this point. But I think uh, Leo and uh, Quentin kind of like had that trust with the, within them to say, look, I have it. Let's just keep going. Well, Leo, whatever Leo wanted to do, you know, it all changed when he, when, he, uh, when he slashed his hand. But I think all he can do at this point is just use it, which I think only just elevated the uh, the performance of uh, him kind of snapping. Thank you ever so much. Thank you ever so much. Taking their guns. Where were we? And I think he was. He, I think he was supposed to keep on talking, but <laughs> I think by him just kind of slashing his hand and and kind of just like oh shit. Um, he's trying to. He's still trying to stay in character. I wonder if he was actually trying to look for the lines. Just kind of curious about that. No way. Show ass in that. Lay <laughs> your hand flat on that table. Shut your mouth. Mm. Doctor Schultz, in Greenville, you yourself. Okay, so I love I love the the choice of kind of just him grabbing her by the neck and just kind of just shoving her down in the chair, working that kind of thing out just to show that she is property. Uh, I mean, she's not property, but. His idea of what property is, it just really sells that moment that I really don't give a fuck about you. You know what I mean? Like, sit your ass in this chair. Like, you're like, you're like a stuffed animal. Get your ass in the chair. It, it just really brings in that savagery of, you know, of the times back in those days. Now, considering y'all have ridden a whole lot of miles, went through a whole lot of trouble, it would appear that Broomhilda is, in fact, the right nigga. Okay, so keep in mind, ah, um, oh God, I like that Leonardo is sort of using this moment to um, show the true nature of his feelings towards, you know, black people. This is the guy that we've been waiting to see, the guy who hates black people, the guy who, you know, will kill you at any second. And sort of showing that out in this, in, in this scene is what I think makes it so powerful. It's just the savageness that you don't see in a lot in, in Leo DiCaprio's character. And I take it you prefer the take it or leave it style of negotiation? Yes, I do, doctor. Yes, I do, doctor. Like, that's the, that's the, you know, I'm the bad guy. <laughs> and if y'all think my price for this nigga here mm. is too steep, oh! what I'm gonna desire to do is... So that uh, that blood on the face, 
clearly wasn't in the script. <laughs> but he used it to show how fucked up he is. And it sells, man. And I'm curious if they talked about that. I don't know if they did because right now everything is kind of in the moment right now. Like it, it's all like sort of just in the moment and things like that. And now maybe I'm I'm just uh I don't know how they worked that out, but the thing of it is is that you know to 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 wipe real blood <laughs> on Kelly's face. <laughs> Woo, man, that poor girl, man, nasty, nasty. Uh, but it works. What's it gonna be? May I lift the hands off the tabletop in order to remove my fist? Yes, you may. Oh boy! Ah, <laughs> uh, so uh, th- this is just Quentin wanting you to to stay awkward. He he, he likes to keep his audiences awkward in a moment like this. Oh! <laughs> to the man with the exceptional beard mm. and his unexceptional nigger. If you care to join me in the parlor, we will be serving white cake. Woo! You join me in the parlor. We will be serving white cake. White cake. Whip. It's cool whip. Cool whip. <laughs> Definitely was snubbed that year. I mean, I remember when that movie came out, it was all about him and his performance. It was all about just him and in this scene. Everybody talked about it. And when he didn't even get the nomination, man, it was just like, how? Like how, and I'm gonna do one with Christoph Waltz too, um, because he's good in here as well. But man, it's just when it comes to just this particular scene, like Leo is, is pretty good at rage scenes, and and you know it, it's are you, you you can't help but just not talk about it. So that's my take on uh, Django Unchained. If you like this video, hit the like button, and if you love this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.